The Sahara used to be green, I mean really green. Between 12,000 and 7,000 BCE, much of North Africa was covered in grass and giant lakes. Humans followed the animals gazelle, elephants, giraffes and they settled along the Nile River, but then the rain stopped. The grass died, the lakes dried up and the Sahara turned into a desert. People were forced to migrate again, this time they followed the water. They settled down and they waited for the flood. When the river overflowed, they planted their crops. When the water receded, they harvested. They dug canals and basins to store the precious water. They carved symbols into pottery to track the seasons. They even developed a calendar based on the rising of the star Sirius. They worshipped the Nile as a god. They called it the giver of life. They built temples and made offerings to ensure the flood's return. And when it came, they celebrated with festivals and prayers. The flood was their connection to the sky, to nature, to each other. It was the heartbeat of their world, and in that rhythm, they found their salvation.